Hello, I'm Jody, owner and artist of Willowing Spirit. Today we are going to just loosen up with some watercolor doodles. Paint along with me if you would like. I'm using a Pigma Graphic One, and this is archival. It's archival ink. It's supposed to be uh, waterproof, fade proof, and it's a brush. Well, kind of a brush. It has a nib on it. And I am just going to give us a baseline here. I hope that's showing up. And I'm just going to basically do um, some rocks stacked. Very simple. You can follow along. like any of them and scribble right into them. This isn't for any great masterpiece. This is loosening up. So I'm I'm not doing my wrist. I'm coming from my shoulder and I'm making big wide ovals. And the paper that we are working on today is Canson XL Mixed Media Paper. Um, I've got the 9 by 12 inch. It's 98 pound. And um, I am using Ganzai Tambi Art Nouveau, but you can use any paint that you want. I just got this a little bit ago, and I want to get into it. And I have the Master's Touch. All right, I pre-wet the paint, but I don't think you really need to. And from what I know from my Gansai Tambi, the previous set that I've had, um, it is watercolor, it has, it's slightly opaque and um, very easy to re-wet. And it also does not really lend well to blending like you would regular uh, watercolors. So let's just start with one color. I'm going to wet first rock. And I have fallen in love with this potter's pink. So I'm going to have quite a bit of potter's pink in this particular painting. At least in this stone. It's a little bit of, I'm not sure what that color is, number 302. It's a red orange. Move around a little bit. A little bit more butter's pink. All right. And then move on to the second stone. Let's start with that blue. And move to this really bright green, which is 501.
side so that I actually wouldn't put my paintbrush in it. That didn't work out well but I did it. And I am not fussing with any of the colors. I am just putting colors down. Mixing them. I look right on the paper. Let's, uh, hmm. Let's go with this. This is five zero six. And let's put some earth tone in it. This is number forty nine. And splattery. And let's go in this bright orangey red, which is 302. And I have a little mixing area off to the side that I'm just putting the paint in directly so that I can water it down even further. And I think some of the blue would be letting this dry. This is number 16. I need a base. paint do its own thing and see what happens all right so it's not totally dry up here there were a few wet spots I took the, the brush sopped up wiped it off so we're gonna start down here and basically we're gonna do some doodles so we'll start See what we can see in this particular rock. It's almost like um, 
what did they call it? The, the backwards coloring. They give you the color page and you have to actually draw whatever you see. Reverse coloring, I guess. So let's do that. What, what do I want to do? can have jagged edges and smooth edges and all sorts of things. So I am going to put the lines. sewn up. I kind of like that. go in a little bit of time did some art thought that was pretty simple definitely had fun doing it so I hope you give this a try thanks for being here and uh, like and subscribe bye